What's up world, you know what time it is. I thought I'd do a quick vlog before I head to the gym about one of my close personal friends. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Mark, you've done enough inducting people into the Hall of Pain. Now it's time for you, my friend, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Where do I start with the Mark Henry story? I know where to start. And you know where I'm going with this, Mark. When I first came up on the roster in 2010, you looked at me and you said in the locker room, boy, why do you got your hair like that? It makes you look gay. I didn't know what to say. My first words at my mouth were, Mark, man, I'm just trying to be different. I'm just trying to stand out. And fast forward to when I came out publicly to the world, you were the first guy to call me up and ask me where I was. And at the time, you told me to come to the Green Room Hotel. And when I seen you, you were like this. You had your arms opened and you gave me a huge hug. It was guys like you, Randy Orton, Big Show, CM Punk that made it so much easier for me to walk into a locker room and be comfortable with myself. And I thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Thank you for opening your home to me always. Anytime we were in the Austin area, you always made it so comfortable for me. Your kids are amazing. I remember when I first met JoJo, she was jumping all over the house and doing some risky jumps. And I said, Jojo, be careful, baby girl. You're going to hurt yourself. And she said, don't worry about me. I'm brave, girl. I said, excuse me, brave girl. And your son, Jacob, who's so talented, he would always tell me about his fantasy wrestling card. And he had me fighting. I think it was called Domination was the name of the wrestling card, the pay-per-view. And uh, he had me fighting Cody Rhodes, one of his favorite wrestlers. And he actually had me beating Cody Rhodes. I know you found that surprising, Mark. And I definitely found that surprising. But hey, Jacob, you never know. The match that you fantasize about could happen someday because of you. Mark, all in all, you've made my experience on the road very pleasurable. My experiences in the ring with you, being against you and being with you, I'll always cherish. But my memories outside of the ring with you will live with me forever. The thousands and thousands and thousands of miles that we traveled the road. And I think I can say that I added years onto your career by doing all the driving. And again, I love to drive. For people that don't know, I can do two, three, four hundred miles if I had to. As long as I have good tunes. But Mark, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes the tunes that you played when you were DJing in the car where they're drizzling shit, especially when you would be playing the video games and you would hook the surround sound system into the video game and then I'd be, you'd be playing Call of Duty or something like that and I'm driving and I'm like, Mark, for the love of God, please. Anytime the three of us, you, me, and Titus would travel, it was just balls and balls of fun. You and Titus going at it, you guys, two big guys, sometimes we'd be in a small vehicle and you guys would be fighting over the front seat. Um, memories, memories, memories that I will always, always cherish with you, Mark. Even when we would be at the airport or anytime you'd be around a bunch of fans, remember, don't pat Mark. Don't do any of this stuff. Mark doesn't like that. So I would see it coming all the time and I would get such a kick out of Mark always saying, get your hands off of me, I ain't no pet. Get off of me, I ain't no pet. Don't keep your hands to yourself. And I would see it coming all the time and I would get so tickled. You are an amazing person. You are a role model. You are everything that I've always wanted in a true friend. I can't wait to see you get inducted into the Hall of Fame. It is much deserving. 
And Mark, you promised me, you promised me you'd bring me down to Austin, Texas. I'm a free agent, you know that. You'd bring me down to Austin and have me do some independence down there so I could see my babies. So Mark, I'm holding you accountable, make it happen. But let's get you inducted into the Hall of Fame first. Again, I love you, Mark. And I can't wait to see you get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Time to head up to the gym. Again, guys, girls, whatever you want to see in the blogs or the YouTube, please comment at the bottom. You guys are my soundboard, and I can't do it without you. Take care. I love you. Peace out. Block the hate. Salute the great.